New Year's Day 2013, a rooftop in Hong Kong covered in shark fins shocks the world as images spread throughout the world's media. Yet in one corner of the roof, in a specially constructed shack, there are thousands of baby shark fins. Along with those baby shark fins, evidence as to where they come from. The problem is, is a lot of these ones that you'll see, when they take them to be processed, uh, they'll cut them open and they'll be pregnant, uh, you know, they'll be ovulating. These are mature females that are supposed to be the breeding stock. So if you take out, you know, the ones that are breeding, there's not going to be an introduction of babies into the ecosystem. And these are coming from tiny sharks. Look how small some of these fins are. And they're sending these to Asia, and this is what, what's going in shark fin soup. In Brazil, the authorities have seen a targeted effort focusing on pregnant hammerhead sharks. They're unborn, newborns, and juveniles. Targeting of the next generation will surely guarantee that the species will go extinct, but sadly the authorities cannot protect the entire extensive coastline of Brazil. To help combat this new onslaught, they've created a law that states that no shark under 60 centimeters in length can be caught. This is also why Brazil has proposed that the hammerhead shark be added to CITES Appendix 2. So why babies, and where are they going? As the Chinese New Year approached, special menus started appearing in the restaurants, hotels and private elite clubs of Southeast Asia. Many menus offering double broiled baby shark fin soup. Whilst the anti-shark finning movement has been growing year by year, few will have noticed a meeting where a powerful coalition was created. The ICCWC, or the International Consortium on Combating Wildlife Crime, consists of CITES, Interpol, the World Bank, the World Customs Organization, and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. The ICCWC was formed to combat transnational wildlife crime. In November 2012, the then US Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, addressed CITES and pledged the United States full support in combating transnational wildlife crime. It is illegal to profit from a crime committed in another country. So back to those fins on the roof. They were caught in Brazil, where they were caught illegally, then shipped to Hong Kong. Anyone along the supply chain is therefore a partner in transnational wildlife crime. The shipping companies, airlines, dry seafood traders, restaurants and hotels. These fins were from Brazil, but with more and more nations enacting laws to save their shark population, possibility of being connected with a transnational wildlife crime becomes all the more possible.